In this video, we will do a traffic analysis of signalized intersections. In this example, we want to perform a traffic analysis of a pre-timed signalized intersection assuming DD1 queuing. The eastbound approach has a saturation flow of 1700 vehicles per hour, a flow of 500 vehicles per hour, 20 seconds of effective green time per cycle, and a 60 second signal cycle. We need to convert the arrival and departure rates into vehicles per second. So our lambda is 500 over 3600, but 3600 is the number of seconds per hour, which gives us 0 0.138 vehicles per second. Our mu is 1700 over 3600, which is 0 0.472 vehicles per second. And our intensity or capacity utilization, rho, is lambda over mu, which is 0 0.294. We want to ensure that capacity exceeds arrivals. Our capacity is our mu times the green time which is 0 0.472 times 20, which is 9.44 vehicles per cycle. And the arrivals is lambda times the cycle time, which is 0 0.138 times 60, which is 8.38 vehicles per cycle. This ensures there are no spillovers, assuming everything is deterministic. By definition, the red time, r, equals the cycle time minus the effective green time, which is 60 minus 20, or 40 seconds. This allows us to compute the following values. The time to Q clearance after the start of the effective green, T sub C, we can compute as 16.65 seconds. The proportion of the cycle with the Q, T sub Q, we can compute as 0.94 seconds. The proportion of vehicles stopped is also 0.94 seconds. The maximum number of vehicles in the Q lambda times the red time, Q max, equals 5.52. The total vehicle delay per cycle, D sub T, is equal to 157.3 vehicle seconds. The average delay per vehicle is 18.88 seconds. And the maximum delay of any vehicle is the red time, and that's 40 seconds.